Hello and welcome to your 10th video lecture. In the previous video lecture, we learned all about classes and attributes. In today's video lecture, we are going to continue the topic and learn about object and inheritance. Before moving to the main part of the topic today, inheritance, let us first discuss what is the self parameter which is used in calling functions inside classes. The self parameter is a reference to the current instance of the class and it is used to access variables that belong to the class. It does not have to be named self, you can call it whatever you like, but it has to be the first parameter of any function in a class. If you remember in the previous video lecture, in the last example, we used a parameter self. Now, why did we use it there? We used self because it was used to reference the current instance of a class. It is compulsory that the first parameter of any class should be the self parameter. But we always don't need to name it self, but we can call it whatever we like. For example, when we call a method of this function of this object as my object dot method and argument one and two, this will automatically be converted into Python by uh, into my class dot method my object argument one and argument two, and the self parameter will help to reference this my object to the current instance. To understand this. Let us write a piece of code. Here we have to create a class person and a global variable name. Let us create a class person and then a global variable name which can have a default value of John. So that if the user doesn't give any name then our object will have the name John. And then define a function my func and pass a name variable with and then without the self parameter. So let us write name and here we will print my name is name. We have already created an object here that is ob is equal to person and then mark we can will have to pass the name from the my func function we will pass mark and then again print person's name is ob dot name so if we execute this we will get a type error because here we did not declare the self variable. It only gave us the name but it did not reference which object we are talking about. So if we write my func and then self and name and then write self dot name is equal to name and here we can write self dot name. This will give us my name is Mark and then it will give the print statement here that the person's name is Mark. But if we do not include this statement and only write name, this gives us that my name is Mark which was passed inside the function calling. But in this statement, this will give us that the object's name is John. Because here we are calling the object's name but here we did not call the self parameter and the self parameter was used to reference the object. Therefore, self is of use when we want to call the current instance of the class. So we will write self and leave it there. Moving on to the init function. All classes have a function called init which is always executed when the class is being initiated. The init method is similar to the constructors in C++ and Java. 
The init function is used to assign values to object properties or other operations that are necessary to do when the object is being created. So basically init is called automatically whenever an object is created. Here we did not include any init function but if there was a init function just when we wrote this statement the init function would have been automatically called. To understand this let us define a class dog and write a init function. Let us write init function to set the breed when the object is in in initiated. So we will write self and then breed and we will write self dot breed is equal to the past parameter breed of the object. Now we will write a function to set the color of the dog. So we will write def oh we need to write def we will write def and then uh, set color let us pass self comma color this will also sell, set the color of this object or this dog to the past parameter and then let us write a get info function to print the details of the dog without passing any parameters so we will write def get info and then we will only write self because even though we do not pass any parameters we will have to write self nevertheless so the dog is of breed and then we will write the breed of the dog and print the dog is of color and then the color of the dog we have already created a object dog one here and pass the parameter dog while creating an object. Now in the previous example we did not pass any parameter inside the object creation statement but here we did pass something. Why did we do it? Because in this example there was no init function but in this example we have all created an init function which will be called automatically just when this particular statement or the object created creation statement is executed. So when we execute this it will give us uh, we need to call the get info also. So we will write dog one dot get info info and execute this and this will give us the dog is of the breed pug because we passed pug and here using the init function we assign the breed to be pug using the set color function we assign the color to be brown by passing brown here and using the get info we printed all the information of the class dog moving on to the most important part of our lecture today inheritance inheritance allows us to define a class that inherits all the methods and properties from another class parent class is the class being inherited from also called the base class and child class is that which inherits from the another class also called derived class to understand the concept of inheritance better let me give you an example in this picture we can see that here we have a parent and here we have a child. Suppose this parent owns a lot of money and he knows how to play football and he owns a car. So 
according to the concept of inheritance the child can inherit the father's money the father will also teach the child how to play football and whenever he likes the child can use the father's car this is the basic concept of inheritance where the child can inherit all the important features from the parent class and he will not have to learn or write all those things from the beginning the child can simply inherit all the important things from his parent so this was the basic concept of inheritance let us write a piece of code to understand it better let us write a parent class teacher and an init function to take the first name and the surname of a student here we have already created a class teacher and written an init function or a constructor that contains the self parameter f name and s name to store and assign the first name and surname of the student we have also defined a function to print the details here we have printed the first name and surname using the self parameter now let us define a class student which is the child class of the teacher and contains no functions or parameter here i have also written that we can use the pass keyword when we do not want to add any other properties or methods to the class so let us write our child function whose name is student and in order to link the child function to the base class or the parent class we simply need to pass the parent class name inside the child class declaration statement and as we do not have to write any function or parameter we will simply write pass and then we will create an object of the class student and then pass the first name mark and then the surname johnson and we will call the display function using the object and we can see that we received the print statement function which printed mark and johnson this happened because even though the init and the display function were not a part of the class student but they were of its parent class and we created an object of the student class and using that we inherited all these functions from the teacher class to the student class and hence we could use the display function to print the name moving on to invoking init the init function is called automatically every time the class is being used to create a new object we have created a child class that inherits the properties and methods from its parent including the init function in the previous example we saw that we only declared the init function in the parent class but what will happen if we declare a init function in the child class as well let us write a function to understand this let us define a class a and write a init function with a default parameter name add a function display to print the name and age of the child and finally define a child class b with a init function with parameter age i have already done the first two steps so let us write the class b and write that child it is the child class of a then we will write the init function of the child class and pass the age inside it so that we can assign the object age to be age which will be passed later in the object declaration statement so we will write 
object of child class and pass the age and using that we will also call the display function now when we execute this we get an attribute error at ob.display because the b object that is the ob object which was the object or instance of the class b has no attribute name we can see that display was a function of the parent class now why did we get this particular no attribute error the child's init function overrides the inheritance of the parent's init function when we when we wrote an init function of the child class it overrided the init function of the parent's class now in order to keep the inheritance of the parent's class we have to add a call to the parent's init function let us copy this code and and invoke a call to the parent's init function inside the child's init function so in order to call the init function we will simply write the class name the parent class name the dot operator and copy from the method call and here when we execute this we will get that it has used the display function to give us the name and age of the child moving on to this super keyword python also has a super function that will make the child class inherit all the methods and properties from its parent by using the super function we do not have to use the name of the parent element it will automatically inherit the methods and properties from its parent here we had to write a or the class parent name in order to access all these functions but you if we use the super keyword we will not have to worry about remembering the name of the parent here i have created a function a class teacher and given the init function where it it has the first name and the surname just as we did in this particular example now we have also created a child class student we will write a def init function of the child class as well but when we want to use the super keyword the first thing that we have to do here is copy all these parameters in the child class init statement as well and then we can add any extra parameters that that we want to pass inside the child class for example here i want to pass the year parameter and then write self dot graduation year to be year we will also include a print statement in the display function which will print the graduation year of the student now let us use the super keyword to get access to all the functions in the parent class we will write super braces dot and then the function declaration of the init function here but in this case we will not write the self parameter because here it itself knows how which object to access now we will create an object of the class student and we will pass the first name mark the second name or the surname johnson and then the graduation year to be 2019 let me call 
the display function using the child class object and when we execute this we get the first name the surname and the graduation year and we used the super keyword to inherit all these functions and variable into the child class this was it for today's video lecture today we learned about the self parameter the init function which acted as the constructor in our case the inheritance concept invoking the parent class init after the init class child declaration and the super keyword thank you for being here see you in the next video lecture